Today on BRS TV we have the JBJ Arctica Chillers. This is one of the few BRS recommended items because we feel that it not only lives up to its claims but actually surpasses them. One of JBJ's main advertising points is how silent their units run. But frankly, every company says that, so what good is it? Here at Bulk Resupply, we can personally attest to how silent these run, but more importantly, we can show you a demonstration of exactly what to expect. We've inserted a microphone into the sump area so you can hear the ambient noise coming from the return pump and skimmers. While this microphone may make it sound loud, it's barely audible outside of the cabinet. You can see when we get to the chiller area that the noise goes down significantly. You can barely even hear that it's on. In fact, most of the noise you hear right now is still coming from the return pump. To demonstrate this, we're going to go ahead and turn the chiller off and then back on again. And basically, you'll hear almost no noise difference at all. JBJ has a unique chiller size calculator on their website which helps ensure that you get the correct size chiller for your aquarium. Most other manufacturers rely on a generic tank size recommendation that can't possibly be accurate. The only thing worse than spending too much on a jumbo size chiller that you didn't need is not spending enough and getting one too small that isn't going to be able to do the job that you need it to. You can find a link to this calculator in the product description on our website. This calculator is going to give you a realistic recommendation on what size chiller you need, not based on tank size alone, but rather on the equipment in your system. So number one asks you the size of your tank. We'll put in 100 gallons. We'll say the sump is uh, 20 gallons. And then it's asking you what the maximum temperature would be if you were to let your tank just go. We'll say that it would have been 83 degrees. The desired temperature of our tank, uh, we'd like it to be 78 degrees and the heat given off uh, by lighting in watts. We'll say we have two 250 watt metal halide lights which is a total of 500 watts. Our return pump is about 80 watts and the different power heads we have in the system total about 50 watts. Hit submit and it'll tell you that we need a quarter horsepower chiller. One thing that we need to go back and look over is check if your lighting system or canopy fan is cooled by fan. If you check this, it's going to significantly reduce the recommendation that it has. And in fact, we only need a one-fifth horsepower model if we are indeed using fans in our canopy. On top of that, JBJ is the only aquarium chiller company to obtain a UL listing, which makes it amongst the safest and most reliable products around. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. For YouTube, double click on the video itself, which will open up a new window with our YouTube homepage. Locate and click on the subscribe button. You can find our Twitter and Facebook pages in the lower left hand corner of our site. If you sign up for either of these, you also get updates on new products, specials, and other things the BRS team is doing. For Facebook, hit the like button up top, and for Twitter, you can hit the follow button. Thank you for watching BRS TV.